Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. I have not been posting for the last week or two because it has been so busy over here. I am filming this in the beginning of December, which is around the busiest time of year for those of us who um, run small businesses. So the last few weeks have been really hectic, but I am finally back to my normal posting schedule. So I have lots of really fun videos to share with you in the coming weeks and months. I wanted to actually kick things off sharing with you kind of a shorter process video of what it looked like to paint a new mural in our primary bedroom. Um, those of you that follow my channel or me on social media will know that we had for the last over five years like a really colorful floral mural that I painted five years ago. The process video is on this channel um, and I loved it a lot. I, in fact, that mural actually ended up going viral um, all over the internet. It got me lots of opportunities working with brands. Um, it was featured on a lot of home decor sites and in magazines. But I kind of was getting tired of it and I wanted to change up our room. I've been wanting the color green um, to kind of bring the outside in. We live in the Pacific Northwest and things are really beautiful and lush and green and often feel like a fairy tale. And I wanted to bring that inside and kind of do something fun creatively um, on our bedroom wall. And so I decided to paint over my floral mural and completely change things up with different colors and a different vibe. Had a lot of people ask me if this is a kid's room because it is quite whimsical, but it's not. I'm just super lucky to have a partner who totally supports whatever I choose to paint on the wall. But I wanted to go for kind of a woodland, um, fairy tale, forest theme because what is behind me is actually what is out my bedroom window. Um, we live next to a really beautiful forest, a woodland. We have mushrooms popping up everywhere in the winter time. There's always ferns and moss. And I just thought it'd be fun to take that inspiration and bring it inside. So I thought it'd be fun in this video just to share with you what the process looks like. I'm not gonna be talking things through or sharing tips with you in this space or video, but I do have a lot of posts over on my blog where I share tips about painting large surfaces, walls, um, deck, and I will drop some of those links in the description box. If you're also interested in what went into this wall, like my sketches before and how I planned it out and the paint that I used it and just tips along the way, I have a longer version up in my Patreon community that you're welcome to go check out over there if you're interested in that type of thing. And I also have numerous videos on this channel of me painting large larger surfaces that can kind of give you a little bit of a peek and a preview of what it looks like to change things up in your environment when it comes to using paint. So I'm going to show you what this process looked like and maybe inspire you to go a little bit bigger with your creativity. 